की शुरुआत करते हैं थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द लाउडेस्ट राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज आई हैव एवर रिसीव्ड इन माय लाइफ दिस वाज अ टॉन टू यू कम ऑन many of you uh, yes i made my debut just like the video film said uh, in extra innings in 2003 none of you noticed me because of mandira bedi but i don't feel too bad about it bishan singh bedi took 16 years and 266 wickets but could not achieve 1% of what mandira bedi did but i believe in society mandira bedi bishan singh bedi all of us should exist so i do believe that this topic of politics before or after bollywood and cricket is something i contest it should be politics along with bollywood cricket because india is not about if you want to come first it is not at the expense of this person you have to come first with all of us put together and that is something india needs to realize but before i come to the main topic of this discussion let me tell you a little bit uh, i have had the opportunity to tour 10 years uh, along with the indian cricket team and on the contrary i learned from cricket i learned from sachin tendulkar i always said in my book i mentioned sachin tendulkar destroyed my life because my generation got completely destroyed because 16 years became a benchmark of success i remember scoring uh, 74 runs the same day sachin scored 324 my mother didn't even congratulate me and i don't blame her because my 74 against his 324 looked like maninder singh's batting contribution to indian cricket but that's what sachin was obsession in india the media covered every organ and injury of tendulkar's body there are certain injuries tendulkar found out because of the media but the impact of sachin tendulkar is what i'm talking about he actually gave india a reason because i have seen maybe 50 of sachin tendulkar's hundreds right in Sa sydney when 60000 people give a standing ovation to sachin tendulkar as a indian i have felt i get goose pimples even today because he gave us pride ani ikade je sachin tendulkar je maharashtran fan tanna he manaycha ki ekas vakya bolnar mi marathi ki aaj wankhede stadium la बांग्लादेश वर्सेस किनिया मैच असली ना तरी सचिन सचिन ओरडतात दॅट इज द पॉवर सो डिड आय लर्न एनिथिंग फ्रॉम सचिन आय लर्न अ लॉट डिड आय लर्न फ्रॉम द फॅक्ट दॅट इंडिया गॉट रिस्पेक्ट आउटसाइड ऑफ द कंट्री येस इट डिड सो शुड वी हॅव सचिन तेंडुलकर इन डिस्कशन लाईक दिस हंड्रेड पर्सेंट वी शुड हॅव विरेंद्र सेहवाग वेन आय मेट हिम आय थिंक द लास्ट टाइम सेहवाग मूव हिज फीट ही वॉज टू अँड हाफ but by not moving his feet he has done more for indian cricket moving their entire bodies and sehwag told us one thing that hindi is okay to speak he gave hindi pride i remember ravi shastri uh, you know doing a complicated he asked technical questions to sehwag in english so ravi said well sehwag the ball was coming on to the back not much grass on it whatever little grass whatever little grass is basically dead grass rolled on to keep the wicket together what was your strategy what was sehwag's answer aisi koi baat nahi hai ball balle pe aa rahi thi maine maar di bas shall i use the cordless mic can you hear me nicely yeah i am more comfortable as a performer so sehwag in a way was very interesting and today i am happy that virat kohli is giving it back to the australians because india needs to tell people that we are not going to take it lying down and i remember once michel johnson was sledging to sehwag when he said something in australian accent sehwag did this at one point i wanted to tell michel johnson don't say sledge to sehwag because the decision to hit the ball and a six has been taken a week before it does not matter but that is the new india which i saw in the last 10 years which i talked about in my book that india became big and cricket and performing arts is a representation and i will come to the fact that why politics should be before cricket and i am also telling you that politics is before Bo bollywood and cricket little later ms dhoni we talked about ms dhoni nostradamus predicted a man from the prehistoric ages will come and in save india i think that's dhoni because the first piece of news i read about dhoni was dhoni consumes 4 liters of milk per day that day itself i knew something big was happening
because after Lord Ganesha, nobody had consumed so much of milk and got so much of publicity for it. <laughs> Jokes apart, what I learned from traveling with cricketers across the world was one key thing. Sachin Tendulkar told me in an interview. He said, Vikram, a good team is one where we look after the people and it's a happy squad. When, when the players are happy, we win matches abroad. What was he saying? He was saying that governance is very important in cricket. And what is politics? It is governance with the ultimate objective of making people happy. So in a sense, cricket can be played well only if you have good governance. They are not different from each other. And that is what, it's not just because you want somebody to be successful in politics, you don't need to get Mahendra Singh Dhoni down. Let's all get this person up. And that is all, all what political students need to do. And I've seen this all across the world. Today, cricket is a great example because in way it po communicates popular culture. I know, you know, unfortunately, I believe that politics is not coming first right now because of our education system. I don't know why we studied what we studied all our life. I am still looking for theta. Who is theta and why did he destroy our lives? Trigonometry destroyed more Indian kids than Michael Jackson did to kids. <laughs> and you know, and if sine theta cos theta, who are these people? And if sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one, why make such a big deal about it? <laughs> if it was one billion, it was fine. <laughs> because we were never told why we are studying what we are studying. Never. English grammar. English grammar today is irrelevant. Because even if, you, if your past is perfect, your future still could be tense. And they taught us simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence. I understood the meaning of this when I got my girlfriend. <laughs> when she said, I want to go shopping, simple sentence. When she said, I want to go shopping and you need to come with me, compound sentence. When she said, I want to go shopping and you need to come with me along with your credit card complex sentence. <laughs> I wish somebody had told me this. And shopping is an activity which the male brain will not understand. This is addressed to all the girls in the audience. What is the high you are getting? I have no idea. What is it? So I go with my girlfriend and I'm trying to react in clothes on I have no idea about. Oh, you like this, no? Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, you want to go? That's why you're saying it. So it's a hostage-like situation for two hours. Complete hostage-like situation. And that is why I'm convinced that women's clothes and terrorist organization both are called outfits. <laughs> the point, larger point I'm trying to make is education should be functional to tell us why we are doing what we are doing. The best example as compared to this topic that we are talking. We learned history in school. History was 80%, civics was 20%. You remember? We scored 35% in history and did not study civics. You remember that? Civics is a subject of rights and duties of citizenship. And we did not study that subject. We studied history and we left civics. If the future of India has to be safe, it has to be 80% civics and 20% history. And that is, that is exactly the point I'm trying to make, is politics was never given importance in the education system. Politics is not about trigonometry and grammar. Education is not about trigonometry and grammar. Education is about becoming better citizens, governance, understanding what people need. So why are we studying subjects which could be learned on a parallel platform? We should be learning civics as the main subject in school. And that is very important. And therefore, if politics has to come before Bollywood and cricket, it has to be integral part of our education system. Only then will people, like today, if you want, if there, suppose there's a mother who wants her daughter to become something, when will she want her, uh, her daughter to become Mamta Banerjee instead of Rani Mukherjee? It's only when Mamta Banerjee becomes an icon at a fundamental level. Yesterday, Nitin Gadkari ji said something very interesting. He said the grassroots worker is actually the happiest worker in politics. 
he should become the icon. We have to make heroes of our politicians because how much ever we say, how much ever we do, unless the mother wants the child to become a politician, it will never happen. And that is our responsibility, all of your responsibility to become heroes in this small level political work that you take. And only when you become heroes, there will be a revolution of sorts where everybody would want to become politicians. It is not about A versus B. It is about doing your job the best. That is very, very important. The other thing about the new government which I like is the fact that our focus. You know what? Why will we become, want to become politicians? When we get pride, just like our heroes. Whenever we travel abroad, the only thing they talk about pride in India is the population of India. And you don't need to have a great cricket star and a great Bollywood star to become, you know, become proud of our country. If you go to Singapore, Singapore does not have an Olympic gold medal or they might have one or two. Singapore does not have a great uh, uh, popular culture. But they, everybody who goes to Singapore will come back and say that they are great roads. So infrastructure and manufacturing is something that we need to imbibe. I found out in my Pune trip last time that 50% of Ganpati's made in Pune were made in China. If you can't make your own God, how will you prosper? Every time you are doing Ganpati Bappa Moria, the blessings are going to Li Jingping in China. So somewhere we've got to understand that we've got to make our own stuff to be proud of and that can happen only if political will is there. And therefore, politicians and political students need to understand that Bollywood and cricket is optional. The road where you are driving is not optional. That is something that you are going to do and that only political students can come through. So there is no discussion. Politics is fraud. First, infrastructure. Cricket and Bollywood survive only because somewhere their infrastructure got good. Infrastructure is again governance. Today, a one kilometer drive in Mumbai can displace your body parts. They, were, they did a bypass in Lilavati. When they opened the heart, they found a kidney there. <laughs> and the gaming industry will never do well in India because driving in India is a like, like a live video game. Anybody can come from anywhere. And the cop is like the villain in the video game. He comes exactly from the opposite direction. I got caught in Gurgaon once. The driver looked outside. The cop looked inside and asked the driver, Aapne signal nahi dekha? Driver looked at him and said, Signal dig gaya, aap nahi dikhe bas. <laughs> so we need to find pride in the stuff that we are doing. And that can happen only if politics comes first. Only then things will go well. So in a sense, if you look at the moral of the story is that politics is about people, politics is about what we do in our life. And therefore, there is no discussion on whether it comes first. It automatically comes first. But let's take the entire world with us and then actually go ahead together. Uh, I don't know, how much time do I have? Five more minutes? So we have done the gyan. If you want any requests with me for, as a stand-up comedian, I want to entertain because I believe entertainment is the only way to communicate. So requests, raise your arm and tell me whom do you want me to imitate? Yes? Mahindra Singh Dhoni, I'll have to go back and I'll actually show you. When Mahindra Singh Dhoni comes into bat, you get an impression entire Jharkhand is coming into bat. Here's MS Dhoni. That's the time to clap for MS Dhoni. Come on, two more requests. This side. Sachin, okay. You'll all buy my book. You'll all tweet that I'm a great guy? Okay. So I started my career by doing a Sachin Tendulkar imitation because I believe, I remember I was at the Sydney cricket ground where 2007 Sachin scored a 200. The entire group at the Sydney cricket ground woke up and said to the greatest batsman in the world, India is Tendulkar, Tendulkar is in India and Australia respects India because you've got a great champion. And that time you switched on the TV sets, Tony Gregg went completely mad. Well, it's all happening here. This is a wonderful atmosphere. Sachin Tendulkar's on fire. He smashed them all over the plies. What a ply. Cut to Sachin Tendulkar.
and the nation stopped. And with due respect to a dear friend Sachin, this is something which changed how India listened to television. So Sachin Tendulkar, the ply comfort level is of vital importance. These one day matches, I think you played some quality cricket. Yeah, I thought most definitely, I thought the wicket was great. <laughs> At the end of the day, what matters is that uh, we play well as a team. And I thought we played better cricket than them. <laughs> Give it up for the greatest batsman of our time, Tendulkar. Last request for this side. You want Virat Kohli? Yuvraj Singh? Okay, mixture of both. Yuvraj Singh is a, how many Punjabis in the audience? Punjabis are naturally aggressive. Even if you touch them, four hormones will fall off. So when UV comes into bat, he battled cancer. He's a very dear friend and he actually told me mental preparation is what actually takes you over and the disease also stops affecting you. So when UV comes into bat, you get an impression that he'll beat the bowler rather than the ball. Many times he doesn't have a chewing gum in his mouth. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been a fabulous audience. Thank you, Rahul ji, for calling me. It's been an absolute pleasure. And please take an oath. It is nobody against anybody. You are the future of India. Thank you very much. This is Vikram Sate signing off.